All right, so I'm pretty much done with Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, first of all, Johnny Cage has terrible crushing blows, gimmicky ass pressure, and when he is plus on block, he can't get any pressure going whatsoever on the opponent because they can literally stop him because of the crazy amounts of pushback that he has, right? But not only that, right? Why does this character have constant highs for a character that doesn't even have a, a fucking, a solid mid or literally an overhead? This nigga's mid starts up at fucking 14 frames, bro. If we look at Cabal's fucking move list, he has a nine frame mid. But not only that, he could just go for his fucking standing one and stop me at any given fucking moment because he's so safe on block. He don't even need to go for his minus five situation. There's no real reason to do it. Not unless you feel like you want to be minus five. This nigga is minus three on block, right? This nigga is minus four on block. He can just commit to the full strength. He don't He don't need to sit there and, and if he sees that I blocked the overhead, why be minus seven when you could just be minus, uh, minus four on block plus you got a little bit more chip damage on me. And there's no flawless block gap in his fucking strengths and he has some of the easiest crushing blows that are highly effective in mid-match or just period in the fucking match. Not only that, this nigga is minus one, minus two, minus one, minus three, minus two, minus five. You have got to be fucking kidding me. Yet, my nigga Johnny Cage is over here looking real motherfucking dry with the offense and all I have is constant lows and me trying to play fucking footsies because hell, you know, they didn't think it was a good idea to give Johnny Cage a command throw, you know, fix his situations involving his plus strings because I think it's kind of ironic how Luke Kane can hit you with a one-two string that's actually a high, okay? And when he hits you with it, he can pretty much put you in a frame trap with his 4-4, four, four, which starts up at 9 frames, which is his fucking mid that leads into a fucking serious mind game. Liu Kang has so many mids. Kung Lao has so many mids. Johnny Cage over here barely has a mid, if he has any at all. Not only that, you know how characters have um, pushback on their strings and shit like that and, and stuff like that? Johnny Cage doesn't have that. If Cabal was the block and I was to go for every normal that Johnny Cage has, he has no pushback. None. I'm still in the same area and he has none. The only pushback he has is when he does his down three. And that barely took him anywhere. But when he gets pushback, it's because of this. But there's so much of a gap there, the opponent can literally press a button at any given fucking moment and get out of it for free. Not only that, nigga. He, they could do it here too. Then on top of that, the defensive options in this game are fucking stupid. You have way too many options just to get the fuck up. Then people try to make this damage controlling excuse. Oh, you could grab them if they try to tech roll behind you. Nigga, what if I don't want to do that? What's your fucking excuse then? What's your excuse then? Go for your parry? Go fuck yourself, man. I'm tired of people making excuses for this fucking game, bro. I'm just, sick, I'm just sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of it. There are times where I do enjoy this game, but at the same time, I just, I hit my breaking point with this game. I'm done with this game. Like, like until the Terminator comes out, I'm, uh, until the Terminator comes out, I'm not playing this game until the Terminator comes out. Um, I'm gonna post up a lot of combo videos with him. Same thing with the DLC characters, and then I'm gonna post up a few matches here and there. And then after all the DLC characters are in the game, I'm pretty much done. And then on top of that, why would you add the, you know what? I can tell right now I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna have to go smoke after this cause I can feel my brain just thumping with the amount of rage that I fucking have. And you got some of these small portions of high level players making podcasts, trying to tell people what they can and cannot fucking say in their fucking videos. And that you should sit there and take it upon yourself to make one video and explain why you dislike Mortal Kombat 11. And then after that, leave it alone. Who are you to tell me what the fuck I can and cannot say on my goddamn channel? You are your own person, just like I am my own person. You have your own opinion, just like I have my own opinion. So if I feel like saying some shit, if I feel like making 27 rants on Mortal Kombat, I'm gonna fucking do that. If I feel like making a rant, on, on, on bullshit ass graphics or whatever the case may be dude i'm gonna do that just like you got people like maximilian dude out here he talks about video games because he can do that he has the right to do that who are you to tell somebody what they can and cannot say oh you should just make one video and, and put everything that you feel about mortal kombat 11 in one video and just call it a day on that and just leave it alone in general go fuck yourself man Go fuck yourself. Like, I, like for real, get the fuck out of here with this shit. Then on top of that, you got option selects in this fucking game. I showed a video like two, three, four days ago with fucking Scarlet having an option select. I don't support that shit. Why is it in this game? This shit is dumb as shit, bro. Option selects up the ass, weak ass characters, unbalanced characters, overpowered characters, or super fucking strong characters. You got characters playing MKX while my character's playing MK11 and I have to work 10 times harder, but you don't have to work 10 times harder. Because you can blend my shit up at any given moment and I have to respect your options and I have to figure out which one you're gonna go for. Especially if I'm going against Scorpion or some fucking Sub-Zero, mainly Sub-Zero. That's an overhead starter and a low starter. 
in an overpowered ass projectile if he amplifies it. And a, a damn near full screen fucking low slide that if you get hit at any given moment three fucking times, this nigga damn near gets like 30 fucking percent on this damn slide. Come on, man. Like, crushing blows are a bunch of bullshit. The story mode is questionable. The fucking crypt it literally is very questionable. You understand what I'm saying? There are good moments in there, here and there. And on top of that, the roster is fucking trash. And I will stand by that to the day I die. They literally teased us. For quite some time about these fucking characters. People wanted Fujin. The niggas wanted Reptile, Ermac, Kenchi in the fucking game. Where the fuck is Takeda at? Yet you give us fucking Jackie Briggs and the overpowered bitch Cassie Cage and this bullshit ass bug lady that goes by the name of fucking Devora that's out here giving niggas L's and shit. Killed Baraka and Melita. Dude, he she killed fucking Scorpion. The present day Scorpion, bro. You know what, man? I feel like this game was a cash grab. I, I just, I, for some reason, I just feel like that, man. For some reason, I just feel like that. I've been feeling like that for quite some time now, and I, I don't like that feeling. I've never felt that way about a Mortal Kombat game, and for some odd reason, this game is making me feel like that. Like, like I don't know what it is, but some, for some reason, this game feels like a cash grab. Dude, why the fuck is my offensive bars recharging on their own? Why is that a thing? Nigga. Why the fuck... Is my shit rebuilding on its own? Let me let me move closer so y'all can see that. Why the fuck is my shit building up on its own, bro? Who thought this was a good idea? This is not fair at all, especially if you're going against a fucking zoner. Dude, come on, man. Come on, man. Then you got zoners with teleports, and then I had some cat in my comment section down below talking about the reason why zoners have a teleport is because they struggle up close when that's a bunch of bullshit and a, and a complete fucking lie. You clearly have not gone against a very high-level uh, zoner like I have quite a few times, even going against my fucking friends, bro. You you have not gone against them. And if you if you did, you would know that you're full of shit. Okay, simple plain is that I'm not I'm not beating around the bush. I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything that I fucking say in this fucking video bottom line is this uh, The characters are overpowered the crushing blows in this game are completely overpowered speaking of crushing blows Johnny Cage can't even get his goddamn crushing blows on, on Anybody in this game not unless he goes for an uppercut and sometimes he can be lucky to get a nut punch other than that it, His crushing blows don't mean shit he has the wackest and weakest crushing blows in the entire fucking game, dude. They literally shit it on this character, just like they shit it on Kotal Khan, the Collector, and certain other characters. The fucking Frost, Noob Saibot. Like, dude, kiss my ass, bro. Suck my dick, bitch. You, man. Dude, here's the thing, man. I played Mortal Kombat for a long time. I played every Mortal Kombat since I was a kid, and this is the only Mortal Kombat that I have a problem with. The only Mortal Kombat. That shit raise up major red flags that I literally just admitted that this is the only Mortal Kombat game that I have a problem with right now. Of course, when they come out with the patches and shit like this, speaking of balance patches, they didn't do shit with Johnny Cage. These characters have overpowered ass throws in this fucking game. All kinds of shit, bro. But this video is going on way too long. I made uh, videos back in the past, like like two weeks ago, or not even two weeks ago, like a month ago, or some shit. You could just look it up. I was being very vocal about it. I even said more Kombat was 11 was broken, and, and a lot of people supported it because they know for a fact that this game is a cash grab, whether you want to believe it or not. I love Ed Boon. I love the developers. I love Nails of the Realm Studios. I love the fact that they made my childhood great with these fucking games, classic games and shit like that. But you're not gonna sit here and make me believe that this game is balanced Th this game makes no sense i literally had an ignorant ass nigga a long time ago literally tell me about mortal kombat 11 saying like oh well uh he tried to confront me like he was spitting facts and some shit when he was completely inaccurate he was like well you have characters that are good at playing footsies you have characters that are good at playing mkx still nigga what are you talking about we're playing mkx right now you just don't see it yet. It just has a whole bunch of problems revolving around it. And they still haven't done nothing to fix it, bro. Like I said, man, yeah, people can make all the excuses that they want, damage controlling excuses. I've seen a couple of high level players on this YouTube channel shit literally make damage controlling excuses in these podcasts and these little quick videos that they make. All, just lying their ass off. Like, dude, I'm not one of those dudes. I'm, I'm just not one of those dudes. Like, for real. Like, it's not like I'm getting paid on YouTube or some shit. Like, like and even if I was, I still wouldn't even lie to you guys. Because that's just me being fake. And I'm not going to be fake. But here's the thing. If you guys unsubscribe, it's perfectly fine. It is what it is. 
You know what I'm saying? This is just a hobby at the end of the day to take away some of the stress. But I'm about to smoke and then go to sleep, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Because cause this shit is hurting my fucking head. Because now I'm getting mad. Not only that, Mortal Kombat 11 is pretty fucking boring. Like, this game is getting boring to me. And I hate the fact that I said that about this game. Because Mortal Kombat has always been entertaining to me. I don't know whether it's me. Or, or this game is just, just making me sleepy sometimes. Because I can sit in training mode and train. And I'm not feeling entertained at all. Feels like a 9 to 5 job or some shit. Like I'm working to try and, try and be uh, at least decent at a game. You know, I'm not trying to be the best player in the world or nothing like that. I don't give a fuck about that. That's just bragging rights. You know what I'm saying? We're all a bunch of nerds that enjoy video games, whether you want to believe it or not. Whether you're a thugged out nigga, whether you're a gay nigga, whether you're a fucking, whether you're a lesbian or, or whoever the fuck you are. You understand what I'm saying? But one thing that we all have in common, though, is that this game is fucked up. But whether you want to believe it or not. <laughs> Whether you want to believe it or not, bro. I played this game long enough to know bullshit when I seen it. I played it when the beta came out. Scorpion was the strongest in the fucking group. And then Cabal came along. You understand what I'm saying? And, and these characters are still insanely fucking strong. Dude, I said what I had to say. This video is going on way too fucking long. Um, I could have said some real deeper shit than this. But I made past videos talking about that shit. Um... I'm done with Mortal Kombat 11 until the DLC characters come out. Um, and then after the DLC characters are complete, after I get all the combo videos out and all kinds of shit, post up a few matches here and there, um, I'm pretty much done with Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, pretty much done with Mortal Kombat 11. Not unless you guys want to see a certain DLC character again return or whatever the case may be. But other than that, I'm done. I'm done. I can't see myself playing this game like that anymore. I can't even take this game seriously, though. Like, I, I really can't. I really fucking can't. Not like I could back in MKX. I used to play competitively back in MKX. I had a, I have a lot of friends that can vouch for that shit, okay? I had a really nasty-ass uh, fucking... Uh, uh, what's the, the fucking dude's name? Leatherface? Yeah, I used to fuck people up with Leatherface like it was nothing. You understand what I'm saying? I used to fuck people up like it was nothing. In this game, bro, if you pick a character like Johnny Cage, bro, you gonna struggle. And I'm talking about you gonna struggle. You better be good at playing footsies, bro. Now, I got a whole bunch of videos that I gotta edit still. I will be posting up Johnny Cage matches later on today once I get the time to. But with that being said, man, this is all I really had to say. Uh, I'm just done with this game, bro. This broken hitbox slash hurt box, fucked up wake up system, fucking uh, offensive bars recharging on their own, crushing blows are a bunch of bullshit. Johnny Cage is, a, is just fucked up on so many different levels. The fucking fatal blows in this game pretty much determine who's gonna win in this motherfucking game. You got characters still playing MKX, my characters playing MK11 up in this bitch. We supposed to be playing footsies and spacing like the developer said, but ironically, we're not doing that because these characters are still playing fucking MKX for some reason when this game is supposed to be revolved around footsies and spacing. AKA MK11. This, I'm not seeing the vision. I'm not seeing the fucking vision in this game right now. I'm done. Simple point is that.